Welcome to Business Avenue, your portal for relevant tidbits for your career and business. My name is Edmond Jamna. We are going to be talking about how to protect your intellectual property. But in this very episode, we'll be speaking about copyright, how to ensure that your productions are copyrighted to get the best possible benefit from it without it being going outside third parties at your disadvantage. Okay. So copyright is a protection granted by law okay, to creators or authors of work. When we talk about work, it can be literary, talking about novels, it can be movies, it can be songs, it can be dance move or choreography, it can be drama, theatre, it can be scripts, it can be um, articles written. Okay, So copyright has to do with works that has been created. It doesn't deal with uh, inventions, it doesn't deal with logos or artworks. Now, a creator or an author of a work is the person that brings or bet the item into being. Okay, so if somebody is hired to do a work of creation, the hirer is the one who becomes the author. So if two or more people come together to produce work or do a movie or come together to write an article, both of them become the authors, and each individual in the group or in in the partnership has equal rights in using the work. In the manner that they deem fit, they also enjoy equal protection under the law. Copyright protection avails the benefit to the author or the creator in that it prevents their works being used without their express knowledge or people reproducing their knowledge or their works in manners that is going to be detrimental to them. If anybody is supposed to use their work, they must grant permission for it to be so. The benefit copyright avails to the creator is that one, it enables the creator to translate to rearrange, to use the work in any way that it didn't fit. Secondly, it helps the, the, the creators to perform the work in any way or anywhere they deem, in any location. Okay, So if it's a musician, he has the right to perform the song in any platform or in any country that they didn't fit without any restriction. It also helps the creator to propagate the work without any restriction. They can also produce copies and rent it out to the general public. Now, in as much as copyright is backed by law, it's a legal offering to holders. It does not necessarily or only come into being when one registers for copyright. The moment you bet a work, automatically copyright laws protect your work. Okay. The need for registration comes in when you want the state or the nation to recognize the work that you have done and give you certification to attest to that. Secondly, it becomes sufficient appropriate evidence when you are seeking to enforce your right to ownership of the work, okay? Especially in the court of law, when you want to use it as evidence to seek redress for infringement, the registration will come in handy for you. One can only register in a country, especially like Ghana, if you are a citizen or a resident. Secondly, the work must have been published or produced in Ghana. If the first production was not done in Ghana, then it must be subsequently done within a month of the first publishing or production for it to benefit from registering for copyright. Okay. Let's look at the rights, the types of rights that the copyright brings about. There are two types. We have the economic rights, okay, that has to do with transformation, that has to do with reproduction, it has to do with communication, that has to do with broadcast. Any use of the rights that is related to economic or financial benefits has the economic right. The other right is the moral right. That has to do with the author being acknowledged as the, the, the source of the work. Okay. So copyrights can be transferred. Okay. You can transfer the rights that you have as the original author to other people to use it in their endeavors. Now, the economic rights are those that can only be transferred. Okay. For reproduction, for broadcast, for distribution. All those can be transferred to third parties. The moral rights can never be transferred. So forever, you will be attributed as the source or the author of the work that has been done. Okay, Let's look at what qualifies a work to be considered for copyright protection. The first is that the work must be as a result of authorship or creation. The work might have come from the initiative or the creation of an individual or a group of people. Secondly, it must be original. Originality means that there has never been such item or work in the market okay 
the totality of your work has never been seen in the jurisdiction that you find yourself in. There might be similar works to yours, but somebody might, must, must get a different insight using yours than it would have gotten from the other works. That is originality. Okay. So two people might have developed two works, which might be similar. Okay. But if they can prove that they did it independently without copying from each other, then originality comes into play. The third factor of qualification for copyright protection is fixation. So here, the work must move into a physical form. Okay. When you create the idea, every work begins with an idea. If you want to do a movie, you must first talk about the story, the story that you want to bring into being. It is an abstract. Okay. It has to be put into a physical substance. So if it is a movie, it must come onto a compact disc, what we call a CD. Or it is a file online where people can watch or download. If it's a novel, it can be a soft copy online or a booklet form. Now, once your work has been protected under the copyright laws, it is for a lifetime of the author or authors of the work. Okay. So, so far as the author is in existence, the author is living. He has the right to be protected for the work that he has authored or created. When the author or authors are deceased, okay, the work has up to 50 to 70 years of protection. After that, the general public has access to the work to do with it whatever they deem fit. We will lastly deal with infringement of copyright. So when you produce your work, let's say you have brought up a movie or written an article, and somebody copies the work, reproduces it without express permission from you, it is considered an infringement and you can seek legal redress. Okay. So when somebody directly has the original work that you have, copied a portion or a whole of it and reproduced it, that is considered primary infringement. There can also be secondary infringement whereby as an individual somebody brings a work to you and you know this is a work of infringement but you help the person in reproducing it now certain copying or actions can be deemed not to be an infringement in certain situations one if it is done for educational purposes it is done for research purposes it is done for news or broadcasting critic purposes or evaluation or analysis okay so here we consider it that the copying is in fair use, but you must be cautious that the fair use is always determined by the court. So if you copy it for educational purposes, it is the court that is going to determine whether it is fair use and hence not an infringement. Let's talk about factors that will make sure that what you have determined is not an infringement but fair use. One, the nature of the usage. If you take the item and you're using it for commercial purposes, then it is likely to be an infringement and less of a fair use. Secondly, the nature of the work that you are copying. When you copy a factual work, it is more of a fair use than copying fictional because fictional is dependent mostly on the ingenuity of the creator. Thirdly, the economic use of the work. If you copy the person's work and it affects the commercial viability of the author or the creator, then it is less of a fair use and it becomes an infringement. Lastly, the amount of the copying that is done. If you copy the work in its entirety, other than a portion of it, then it is an infringement. If you copy portions of it for whatever activities that suit your purpose, it can be argued as fair use. So guys, these are the information on copyright we think we should bring to your attention. If you want further information or you want any form of assistance from DW Consult, kindly put them in the comment section below or you can put them via the information showing on your screen okay and we'll gladly address it don't forget to click on the red subscribe button click on the notification bell by it like and share so we'll come to you again take care of yourself and stay blessed adios